Have you always wanted to make French beaded flowers but feel intimidated because it looks so hard? You're in the right place because the goal of this channel is to help you shorten your learning curve so that you can be even more successful when starting out to make French beaded flowers. Hi everyone, I'm Fen Lee, designer here at the Beat Floor Studio, author to the book Beat Flora, the revival of French beaded flowers, and a bead instructor at the Beat and Button Show. On this channel, I offer technique reference guides, tip videos, and free beaded flower tutorials just like this one. If you are new here and would like to learn more, consider subscribing. This is part of my Bead Along series. I'll be running the technique projects from my book first to get you acquainted with the French beading techniques, and then I'll be posting the full video tutorials on how to make the cover project of my book. Today, I'll be showing you the second technique project from my book, Small Daisies. Since I taught this project in the classroom, I will only show the relevant techniques and not the full pattern. For the full pattern and assembly, you can find it in my book. I'll put the link in the description with where you can buy your own copy. It's also part of the um, Amazon Kindle Unlimited program, and you can get a 30-day free trial to read the digital version. That will also be in the links below. This video builds on from the knowledge that I shared in last week's Intro to French Beaded Flowers Spring Blossoms. If you haven't watched that video yet, watch it first. And just like the Spring Blossoms project that I showed you last week, this practice project is scaled small so that you can finish a flower fast. You'll gain a sense of accomplishment faster, and after you make five to eight daisies, you will have a beautiful small bouquet. And like I said last week, your first attempts at French beading will not be perfect. It will be messy, and that's okay. Right now, I'm showing you how to crawl, but very soon, you'll be off running. Now let's get to your second messy flower. For the small daisies project, we'll be using size 11C beads. For the petals, we'll be using Ceylon white. For the center, we'll be using transparent rainbow yellow. For the calyx and leaves, we'll be using transparent green. For wire, we'll be using 24 gauge copper core wire. For the petals and center, I'll be using silver. For the calyx and leaves, we'll be using green. And for assembly, we'll need green fluoro tape. Next, we'll be making the petals, and the technique that we'll be learning is the continuous crossover loop. I already have some white beads on 24 gauge silver wire. You can also use white wire. Let's undo this here. We're going to start with a 5 inch tail. And now we're going to make a 20 bead loop. Now pinch the loop and take this working wire and bend it over the loop. Feed some beads onto the bare wire and make sure that the beads cover all of the wire. Push the beads down 
so that it covers all of the wire. Now remove any excess beads right at the top here. Bend the wire down over the loop. Turn it around and push the beads up. At this point, you'll see this little bit of wire here, and that's okay. Remove the excess beads at the base. Take the working wire and wrap it around the tail wire. The working wire is now back on the right hand side. We're going to make another crossover loop right next to the first one. Now take the working wire and wrap it around the in-between wire around the base. Bring it back and now the working wire is back on the right hand side. So now we have two 20 bead continuous crossover loops. The pattern calls for 10 petals, so I'm going to keep going until I have all 10. Now I have all 10 petals done. Cut another tail off the spool. Now take the two ending tail wires and twist them slightly at the base. Now I'm going to reposition the tail wire so that there is a tail wire on either side of the hole here. Just so that when we assemble it, it'll be more stable. Now take one of these wires and wrap it around the base of one of the petals across from the first wire. Just move the petal up a little bit and go around the base. So now you have a tail wire on this side and another tail wire on the other side. Next, we'll work on the calyx. Leave a five inch tail and make five 15 bead continuous loops. So now we have five 15 bead continuous loops. Next we'll work on the leaves and the technique we'll be learning is the basic frame with a pointed top. And I already have some beads strung onto green wire. The pattern calls for a 15 bead basic. Let's make a basic frame with a five inch twisted wire and loop.
So line up the beads here with the basic row. So we normally go behind like this for a round of top, just straight behind. For a pointed top, we want the wire to be at an angle. Like this, at a 45 degree angle. You may need an extra bead um, than you would normally do with a pointed top. So put this here over your forefinger and steady it with your thumb, like this. Wrap at this angle. Go behind and back to the front at that angle. Now before you do anything, feed the beads onto the wire. Push it all the way up so that it covers the point. Push it down, shape it if you have to. And now we have a pointed top. And for the bottom, we're going to do a rounded bottom, straight behind and back to the front. I'm going to show you one more time on here. I made the knot a little bit too close. And because this is a longer leaf with longer rows, line this up and hold each section bit by bit so that it lines up perfectly. So now let's do the pointed top again at this angle. Go behind and back to the front. And before we do anything, feed the beads on and push down. And you can also shape it so that it's in good shape. And we'll make the bottom as usual. And here we have a 15 bead basic, pointed top, rounded bottom, five rows. Are you feeling excited about French beading now? Hit the like button if you found value in this video. I've put together a kit for the small daisies and listed in my Etsy shop. Some of you have been telling me that one of the things that's really holding you back is because you can't afford to buy all the wire and materials. I know it is a lot of supplies to get, especially if you're starting out in a craft that you're not sure if you'll like it or not. And that's why I made these affordable kits with all the materials you need for a certain project. I've also listed some kits I've made for the Beat and Button Show in my Etsy shop since it's canceled this year due, the, due to the pandemic. Don't forget to join me in the Beat It Flower Facebook group that I run with Lauren Harpster so that you can show off your flowers with other beaters. I'll put a link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of whenever I upload a new tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!